Hi, my name is Gareth Ritter and I'm a music teacher at Willows High School in Cardiff and I'm here today to show you about Microsoft Photosynth. So what is Photosynth? Photosynth is a powerful set of tools for capturing and viewing the world in 3D. You can share these views with your friends on Facebook, publish, publish them on Bing Maps or embed them in your own website. It's the big picture. Here's an example of a featured Photosynth on the Photosynth, Photosynth website. And as you can see, I can just have a look around. This is Panton Station. And I can look at whatever part I want to. I can zoom in. And it gives you a 360 view panoramic effect. So, how do we get started? Well, the first thing you need to do is sign up for an account. Now, you can use your Windows Live account, your Hotmail account, uh, or create a new one. Luckily, I'm all, I've already got an account as I've been using this now for a while. So, I'm already signed in. Now, when you sign in to Photosynth or you set up your account, it'll ask you to download a piece of software, which I've done on my desktop here. So, this is how we get started. So, sign me in, and then up it comes. Okay, now. I thought it would be a good idea to do a photosynth of my classroom so pupils outside when they're at home on the weekends or the evenings they can access the classroom and look at the posters around the room. Another idea would be to maybe set a little treasure hunt within your classroom, hide in objects that they would have to find on their PCs or laptops at home. So on the folder on my desktop I've taken some pictures of my classroom. If we just have a quick look at them and you'll see. So there's my classroom. Now I've taken 39 pictures in all. And what I've done, I've got around the classroom bit by bit, taking the pictures, covering all the areas that I want to cover. Now within this bit of software it asks you to add the photos. So let's do that. So I point to where my folder is at the moment is on my desktop. Photosynth pictures. Now I'm gonna control A and select them all and then open. And then they are. Okay, now that I've added my photos, I'm gonna give it a title. Let's call it my classroom. Now, I'm going to embed this onto my own website, but the pupils can log on to Photosynth and what I view it if they want to. You don't need to embed it into a different site. So now I've selected my photos, I've given it a title. I'm going to give it a couple of tags if people are searching. So, my school name, Willows High, my YouTube name, which is Tech classroom, anything you feel appropriate and maybe a, a description. This is the classroom of music teacher Gareth Ritter who teaches at Willows High School Cardiff. There we are. So, now I've done that, I'm going to click Synth. So now what it's doing is going through all the pictures and looking at how we can stitch them together to create this panoramic effect. So I'm going to come back once it's finished. I leave this I think for about probably about 15-20 minutes uh, if there's about 39 pictures there. I'm going to let it do its work and I'll come back and I'll see you in a minute. So as you can see it's coming to the end now and it's completed. So we just click on view and it's launching our Photosynth. And here we are, I can look around my classroom as I said, I want the pupils to be able to look at the posters within my room. So if I take this poster here and zoom in, 
as you can see in a couple of seconds kind of clear now if I've given the pupils a homework on the percussion family maybe untuned instruments I've given them pictures and they need, to, they need to tell me what the instruments actually are then they can access my classroom from home and look at the posters it's a fun little homework exercise for them so if they're stuck on any questions they can be in the classroom while at home now this is benefits for lower school and upper school you know, I've got GCSE pupils that would like this opportunity to be able to be in the classroom when working on maybe their compositions or exam questions if they're stuck then they can access the classroom now as I said another feature of this is I want to be able to add it to my own website so if I go to my website and there it is there, ask the music teacher to call UK just wait for it to load now if I go on my blog as you can see I've embedded it into my website uh, I use WordPress um, as you can see it is a free piece of Microsoft software if I click to view and then I've got a full screen view panoramic view of my classroom on my website now the way to do that is you click on my photosynths click on this one this is the one that I've just created there's a little tab at the bottom embed if I click embed it gives me a code and you see it's already highlighted so I'm going to copy this code and then I can add that to my my blog or any website so Microsoft Photosynth enjoy